15 Things You Didn't Know About Playboy Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxer and welcome back. If you've never heard of Playboy, you're probably too young to be watching this. Founded over 50 years ago, Playboy is an iconic brand that, to be honest, brings back a few childhood memories. Today we'll be taking a look at 15 things you might not know about Playboy. Number 1 Initially, Playboy was supposed to be called Stag Party, but because there was already a magazine named Stag, Hef decided to name it Playboy in order to avoid confusion. Number 2 there is a Braille edition of Playboy. It was introduced in 1970 and it included just the text with no advertising. Number 3. Playboy is not always about heterosexuality. If you create a mental image of Playboy, you imagine it as a festivity of heterosexuality, but in fact Playboy was and is a strong supporter of the gay rights. Number 4. Hugh Hefner was skeptical about the business side before launch, but the first edition sold over 50,000 copies at 50 cents each. Number 5. Pamela Anderson was featured 12 times on the cover of Playboy, currently holding the record for most appearances. Number 6. The youngest playmate was only 17. In 1958, Elizabeth Ann Roberts debuted in the Playboy magazine when she was only 17 years old, being ranked as the Playboy of the Month in January. Number 7. Many influential people got featured in interviews for Playboy. When you think at Playboy, the first thing that pops into your mind are naked women, but in fact, individuals like Malcolm X, Yoko Ono, and Martin Luther King gave very serious interviews for Playboy. Number 8. The Playboy Mansion is one of the few homes in Los Angeles that has a zoo license. Number 9. The popular bunny dip move started because the girls had very tight bunny uniforms. When they were serving drinks, they were forced to bend their knees. Number 10. After Drew Barrymore posed for Playboy, Steven Spielberg sent her a note that said cover yourself up with a modified copy of the magazine, in which she was fully clothed. Number 11. The Playboy empire was funded by Hugh's mom, who gave him a loan of $1,000 to finance the first edition. Thank you, Grace Caroline Hefner. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Number 12. Hugh Hefner has a 152 IQ, which makes him one of the smartest people in the world. Even with that smarts, his grades in school were average, spending most of his time drawing. Number 13. This might not come as a shocker, but Playboy is banned in China. Number 14. In 2015, Playboy decided to change completely its content strategy and it will no longer feature naked women. Instead, they're focusing on premium text content, so the phrase, nobody is buying Playboy for the articles, might soon become obsolete. Number 15. Hugh Hefner already chose to spend his eternity next to Marilyn Monroe. Despite never meeting her in person, as a tribute to her contribution to Playboy's success, Hugh bought the spot next to her grave to be buried there. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two about this iconic brand, and now you can show it off in front of your friends. What do you think of Playboy's decision to ditch the naked ladies? Join the conversation in the comments. Because you stuck with us till the end, we're showing you a bonus fact. In 2009, to mark The Simpsons 20th anniversary, Marge Simpson had the cover, and a full spread in the magazine with sexy poses, along with an interview entitled, The Devil in Marge Simpson. We included a secret link in the description if you'd like to buy it. You know, for science reasons. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. 
make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alox.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.